Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back. I'm Ivy and today we are playing Skyrim. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to make a Skyrim ASMR video for so long since I started making ASMR gaming videos. I've been wanting to play Skyrim so I'm very excited that we're finally playing this today. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite games. I haven't played it in a really long time, um, but I just recently got it on my PC, so I'm able to play it again. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, this is my dark elf. Her name is Nyx. Um, she's focusing on magic and stealth, <laughs> which I'm not very good at. <laughs> doing stealth stuff, so that's going to be interesting, but um, let's, we're currently in the uh, Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head outside, though, I think. Let's go ahead and take a quick little walk outside into the town of Riverwood. It is very either late at night or early in the morning, so it's a bit dark right now, but that's okay. Um, so, for this series, I, I plan to keep making these Skyrim videos, even, um, I plan to keep making these Skyrim videos because I just really enjoy this game, so I definitely want to make a lot of these, um, but I am probably not going to focus too much on the main story because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'd just rather do that on my own time. Um, I'm mostly just going to be running around, just exploring, doing random stuff, getting into side quests, maybe. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to do for this series, for this video. Um, I might do a couple little, um, like, main quest things. Um, I also, for this video, I'm going to be cutting out any combat, because it could be a bit loud and... Obviously, this video is supposed to help put you to sleep, so I'm probably going to cut out the combat, but if you, if you all want to see the combat, let me know, and I'll find a way to add it in and maybe cut the sound down a bit. Um, yeah, just feel free to let me know in the comment, comments what you'd prefer to see, um, what kind of, what kind of things you'd like to see. If you want to see me go through any of the little side quest lines, let me know. Um, but yeah, we're here in Riverwood. I've already done a little bit of the um, main main quest. I just finished Bleak Falls Barrow and got the dragon, uh, the golden claw. Um, so that's why I came back to Riverswood, Riverswood, Riverwood, um, just so we can kind of walk around and explore, just chat with the townsfolk. Let's not do that. <laughs> Um, chat with the townsfolk. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, so I can't really do much. Um, but I think I'll just kind of run around a bit and just do whatever, go where the wind takes me. Um, I hope that you find this video relaxing. I personally really love Skyrim ambiance. I always, like, I think every day I listen to the soundtrack. I always find those YouTube videos with Skyrim music and ambiance. I always put those on um, while I'm relaxing. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So yeah, I think maybe we'll run over to, to Whiterun. There's a little bit more to do over there. A little bit more people to talk to. Some little side quests we can accept. We can try our hand at some alchemy. Because um, I feel like when I used to play this game a lot more, I feel like I didn't really get too into, like, crafting and stuff. I mostly just kind of, honestly, I mostly just ran around and explored. There's a lot of, like, side quest lines I never actually did or finished. Hello. Hello, Mr. Argonian. Good morning, sister. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. Oh, he looks so cool. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Okay, what does he have? Let's see. He has some skooma, sleeping tree sap, some moon sugar. I kind of want to take his moon sugar. 
I'll take a, uh, I'll take a, how much gold do I have? Okay, I'll just keep a moon sugar. <laughs> I'm trying to collect ingredients so I can <laughs> work on alchemy. Um, but as I was saying, I mostly just ran around a lot. I honestly, like, I think I only completed the main quest like one time. Because <laughs> every time I play through, I just, like, my favorite thing to do is just run around and just explore because it's such a beautiful open world and I love just enjoying the sights and seeing what I can find. I definitely want to do the College of Winterhold um, since she Nyx here is going to be a mage and uh, yeah Okay, I'll definitely do that one. I'm not sure about the other ones yet, but... Okay, so it looks like the sun is beginning to rise. It's starting to get a little bit lighter. Found our way to Hunting Boon Eatery. I think it might be closed. Yeah, it's closed right now. Okay. That's alright. Everything is closed. <laughs> This is my first time playing as a dark elf. I'm excited. <laughs> I, uh, I don't even remember what I played as before. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. I'm so happy to be playing it again, though. It's funny, though, because I've, like, restarted this game so many times that I feel like I have the whole, like, first little bit memorized. Like, I know exactly where to go, exactly where to talk to. I feel like it's the same for a lot of people. I feel like many people have restarted this game. Oh, there looks like somebody fought a giant here. This isn't the giant that I fought, because that was way over there. Hmm. Missed out on that, I guess. <gasps> the Khajiit are here. I love the Khajiit, the Khajiit and the Argonians. I actually, um, I was debating on being an Argonian, um, for this playthrough, but I decided to go with the Dark Elf because I wanted to focus on magic. Let's talk to these Khajiit. Can you train me to sneak? They'll never see you coming. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Oh my god, it's so expensive. Okay, never mind. I'll wait till I have more money. <laughs> I definitely need to make some, some money here, I think. Alright, so let's go ahead and head up. The sun's starting to rise, so things are going to open up. People will be out and about, and we can do some stuff. If you play Skyrim, what is your favorite race to play as? And what style of combat do you like to do? I definitely want to work on like being more stealthy. I'm I am absolutely terrible at stealth in any game. <laughs> Cause I'm really impatient. Um I I like to just bomb rush into fights and just like brute force things. Um so this like I'm playing with stealth is going to be uh, out of my comfort zone, but I think I am starting to get better at stealth because I've been playing Elden Ring for the first time, and you really got to be stealthy in that game. You cannot, you cannot bomb rush into things, or at least I can't at my current skill level. All right, nobody's here. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I've done nothing productive. Hello, sir. Mercenary work? It might suit you. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. Oh, the music is so pretty. I love the music. I love this song specifically. You're not from Skyrim, are you? No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Redguard. 
My family hails from the Imperial province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. What were you two arguing about? My sapper doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. Ooh, he fed his I smell a quest. family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy. Do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white front guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful. All right, looks like we're gonna keep an eye out for Amran's family sword. I'm pretty sure that I've done that quest before. We probably won't do that today because that will require a lot of fighting, um, <laughs> which is not very cozy. I love this song. I worry it might be a bit loud though. All right, let's try our hand at some alchemy. I think. I think this is the alchemist. Never mind, she's not open yet. <gasps> Can y'all wake the heck up and open your doors? I want to. Uh, I want to do stuff. All right, here we are at the Bannered Mare. Maybe some other time I will be here begging. Palm reading, crystals flying. Ooh, maybe trepanning. All right. <laughs> Olava the Feeble here seems to be a fortune teller. What will put you in the mood to do a reading? I want my fortune to be told. Sadia. Oh, I know Sadia has a good quest. She's so pretty. I love her. Oh yes, Mom. I'll make sure it gets done. If it's work you're looking for, Folder's the one to talk to. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Alright, let's see. Is there any food I can grab? Lots of ale. Argonian blood wine, baked potatoes, bread. Let's take a bit of bread, I think. Okay. Let's get me a cheese wheel. <gasps> Never mind, that's 40 gold for a whole cheese wheel. I'll take an apple. Thank you for the food. Alright. No more questions. Okay, hold on. What can I get you? I'm looking for work. Here, take a look at this. Some of the yard's men came by and left this bounty like Alright. Kill the bandit leader at Redoran's retreat. Heard any rumors lately? Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the wind district. It's part of the temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about this, but I don't know what they expect. Alright, let's talk to Danica then. Need anything else? Just let me know. Alright, let's continue exploring White Run. Maybe the alchemist will be open now, so we can try and fail at making potions. <laughs> Alright, never mind. I just love the vibes here. I love White Run. It always feels so nostalgic and cozy here. It's such a pretty town. I'd love to live in this town. I never said you did, sir. Are you always drunk? Only if I can help it. <laughs> but damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it? They won't even know it's gone. Come on. I'm not gonna feed your bad habit. Then we got nothing more to talk about. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I love this little square with the tree. It's so pretty. Alright, I think... Yes, here she is, Danica. Alright, I heard something happened to the tree at the temple. What's so special about this tree? 
oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is in a shell. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. Hmm. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Tree, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal method. What kind of weapon would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. Fun. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. All right. I've done part of this quest line, but I've never finished it. I remember getting Nettlebane, but I never actually continued on after that. It's crazy how long it's been since I played this, but how much I remember. I don't have any money. You better give me five scepters right now. I'm gonna bloody your tomb. Okay, I'm not gonna Ten get in on that fight. <laughs> So let's run around outside of Whiterun, shall we? Just explore the beauty of the of the Skyrim wilds. I, I feel like I've accepted enough quests for now. Actually, hold on. Are you open yet? <gasps> yes. Okay. Let's try making some potions. Can I use the alchemy lab? Thank you. Oops, I'm standing in the fire. Alright, let's see. You can create potions and poisons by combining two or more ingredients that share a common effect. Alright, let's mix this little branch and purple mountain flower. Ooh, we got a potion of resist frost, okay. Let's see. I want to try making other stuff. Okay, let's uh, remove. So thistle branch has resist frost property. Let's try mixing it with a glowing mushroom. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, that was good. That was a good one. So this has Damage Magicka Regen and Fortify Conjuration, okay. Let's try Purple Mountain Flower with Lavender. Okay. I'm just wasting my ingredients right now. This was really expensive, so I'm gonna save the Moon Sugar for later. I think. Hmm. Man. Okay. Well, we know that this makes this. So let's make a couple potions of resist frost, I think. Alright, and then like maybe a spider egg and a glowing mushroom. I don't know. I'm kind of just mixing things together so I can learn their properties at this point. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Restore health. Alright. Okay, we've ran, ran through the ingredients. We made a lot of potions. Maybe I can go to the shop, see if I can sell some stuff. These battleborns and whatchamacallits are fighting. <laughs> I forgot what the name of the other family was. It was battleborn and something that are always in some kind of conflict with each other. Oh, hello. Alright. Let's head into the War Maidens. 
Hello, Welcome Mr. Ulfberth Warbear. Right I sure have. What have you got for sale? Let's see. Anything interesting? Oops. I'm playing this game on with keyboard and mouse, and uh, <laughs> it definitely takes some getting used to, that's for sure. I'm used to playing with controller. I definitely want to get a better outfit at some point than what I'm wearing, but for now, I think what we have is okay. Ooh, the steel dagger might be nice. 56. I'm gonna grab this steel dagger. Alright, is there anything I can sell you? Oh, I keep clicking out on accident. <laughs> let's do it. Let's use my keyboard. Okay, I don't want to sell you my lockpicks. I will sell you... Hmm. I don't need two longbows. Okay. Let's go explore outside of White Run, shall we? Run around, see what we can find. Now the question is, are we going to go left or right when we leave White Run? I think we'll go left. I'm going to equip my new dagger though first. Oops, actually, yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, weapons and steel dagger. Onward we go. Hopefully we uh, don't meet too many unfriendly <laughs> encounters on our journey. Also, hopefully the third person view uh, is okay. I, I usually don't play with first person because it makes me a little bit motion sick, and I figured it might be the same if you're watching, so that's why we're doing third person. And also with third person, you can see my my character, Nyx. So to the left, we have Riften and Windhelm, as well as Winterhold and Iverstead. And to the right, we have Solitude and Markarth. Mm, so many choices. I think we'll head to the left. To the left we go. I, um, hopefully we can get a horse at some point so we can travel a bit faster, but honestly for these videos I feel like walking isn't too bad, um, because, you know, this is just supposed to be relaxing and cozy, we're kind of <laughs> running around aimlessly, just enjoying the mountains and the trees and the water and the sounds, and the sights. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Guard. Alright, I will. Okay, we're gonna go this way, I think. Check out how pretty this river is. I definitely want to download some mods for Skyrim. That was the whole reason I wanted to get it on PC so I could download mods, but I need to go through the effort of figuring out how to download them and which ones I want, because there's so many. There's so many mods. Alright, let's fight this skeever real quick. Alright. Onward. There's a little dude lurking around over here behind a rock, and I'm not sure how I feel. There's some dead bodies as well. I think he might try to fight me. Oh, never mind. It's just some, some Imperial soldiers. Oh. What? The way these guys are on the ground. <laughs> um, I'm afraid I don't have any gold to spare. 
What a twerp. Well, it seems I was a little bit outmatched. Um, <laughs> I got my booty kicked just a little bit, so let's try that again. <laughs> that was quite funny. Um, anyways, yeah, I, I really want to download some mods. If y'all have any recommendations, let me know. I mostly, I don't really want any gameplay mods necessarily, because I like the game the way that it is. Maybe just some character design mods to make my character look a little bit better. And maybe just a few environmental mods. Just to, I mean, the game's already beautiful enough as is, but maybe just a little bit of graphical enhancements, possibly. I also really want to get more into, like, Elder Scrolls and Skyrim lore, I think. Because I just, I don't know, the lore of this world is very interesting to me. Um, I, I think that'd be fun if I could maybe read some lore for y'all in a future video. So let me know what y'all think. Alright, hopefully those soldiers don't wreck my booty again. <laughs> I ain't paying them 100 gold. Here, maybe we'll go this way this time. Let's take a different path. Although I feel like there's giants this way, I can't remember. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. Oh, gosh, it's just so pretty. <laughs> I want to live in Skyrim so bad. Oh, I see. I think I see a wolfie up ahead. Also, I know I say this in every single one of my videos, but I apologize for the background, the background noise. Did that say Battleborn Farm? This is one of the families that's in the, the family dispute. Hello. Need something? Gwendolyn. Can I go in their house? Nope. It is Battleborn. Right. Okay, maybe I didn't see a wolf. I think we're in the clear. No fighting for us today. Oh, hello. <gasps> Foxy, look at the cute fox. All right, friend or foe? Hey, important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. All right, fair, fair enough. Courier's working hard, <laughs> making. <laughs> Deliveries for your hands only. All right. Looks like we're heading into the valley a little bit more. Into the snowy lands. Oh, look at that. You? Are you kidding me? Oh, I love this game so much. This whole video is just going to be gushing, me gushing about how pretty this game is. I love it. Quirks and all, I love this game. It's just like always, I don't know, playing it, it always just feels like home somehow. Got that mountain. We have a friend with a broken cart, I think, over here. That's what it kind of looks like. Are you a bard? Oh my god. <gasps> Hello, Cicero. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Problem? Wow, this is really a character. I can see. 
guess there's some way I can help, I guess. What? How have I never encountered this guy before? So what makes you think he'll help me help you? Alright, I guess, uh... <laughs> I guess we'll uh, try to do that. <laughs> Help this guy be on his way. I don't know how I've never encountered that character before, but I sure would have remembered if I did. Hello. You need something? Talk to my husband, Vantis Lorius. Or just Lorius, if it's all the same to you. Alright. Hello, sir. The um little man really needs your help with this wagon. Cicero? <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied. I mean, at this point, you may as well just help him so he leaves. <laughs> so what's the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. Jester? No, he's a jester, not a bard. He's been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. Transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. Could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. There's no way I'm getting involved in any of that. <laughs> um, you have a point. What can I do to help? Well, there is something. There's a guard who patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. You could report the fool. You know, say he's done something against the law. I don't want to do that. Do I won't condemn an innocent man. Fine, suit yourself. But you're wrong anyway. Just look at the fool. I don't know what it is. He's damn well guilty of something. Okay, but like, you need something? Talk to my if you don't, <laughs> my thing is, if you if you don't help him, he's just gonna stay there forever. <laughs> like, you may as well just help him I so he leaves, right? You know you should help him. The fact is, he needs help. All right, I did it, and we leveled up. Let's go. Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. The way he just like changed his mind so fast. I wish I had that power of persuasion in real life. <laughs> this guy went from like super angry to super nice all of a sudden, <laughs> like super quickly. All right. Cicero, my friend. Alright, he's agreed to fix your wagon wheel. The way he talks in third person, I can't. We completed that. I kind of want to like... Is he going to actually come down here? I'm curious if like... Alright, this card's just like whatever. I wonder if I can actually like watch him come down here and help him. Or maybe if I like leave and come back. Oh yeah, he's just chilling there. I think maybe if I leave the area and come back, maybe it'll like update. What tran what goes down here? Because I'm curious if like if Cicero is being legit and actually just wants help, or if like he's gonna do something bad to Lorendis. I guess we'll have to come back and find out. I'm gonna continue on the road for just a little bit. I see a bonfire over there. Maybe we can check it out. I also see a wolf, so let's go ahead and fight that. Take care of that real quick. Right. 
Oh, it's a little giant camp. I definitely don't want to get their attention. I just want to observe the giants with their mammoths. The giants get very angry if you mess with their mammoths, so I'm going to not deal with that right now. Just going to keep on exploring. We've made it to the snow. How pretty. What is this? how pretty it is over here, this snowy forest. I love the snow so much. I'm a huge fan of snow and winter. If you didn't know that about me already. Oh, somebody's fighting me. Alright, the only issue with this game and ASMR is that people or things like to attack me all the time. <laughs> As I just wander, I just get attacked. Look at this beautiful wintry forest. There's some wolfies up here, it seems. Alright, so I accidentally wandered somewhere I definitely was not supposed to be and got my booty kicked again. So I decided to come back here to Riverwood where we're nice and safe. Just kind of enjoy the ambiance over here. You're not serious. <laughs> I think this is where we're gonna go ahead and end the video for today. This, I know this was a wildly unproductive video. We did do one side quest. We helped um, our silly jester um, fix his wagon so that he could go bury his mother in a new location. Um, but yeah, let me know um, if you like these Skyrim videos, if there's anything specific that you want to see in them. Um, I kind of like just wandering around aimlessly. I think hopefully in the next one I'll have progressed a bit more in the story so I can level up a bit, so I can explore a bit more without having to worry about getting my, <laughs> getting my booty kicked by everything. Um, but yeah, this is fun, kind of just wandering around and exploring. Um, if you um, enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more gaming ASMR content from me. Um, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day or night, and that your week is filled with lots of peace. Bye friends!